Today we are going to make a slew rate limiter using a Reckless Experimentation Audio Proto-1 Eurorack breadboard module. The parts list and circuit schematic are in the description below. First let's look at the circuit schematic and see what's going on. The circuit is quite simple and requires only one chip. The CV voltage comes in here and goes through the unity gain follower. This removes any input impedance. The next stage is the 100k potentiometer mounted to the front plate and a 100 microfarad capacitor. The higher the resistance, the slower the capacitor will charge or discharge. This limits the slew rate of the circuit. The 100 ohm resistor limits the current if the potentiometer is turned all the way down. The final part of this circuit is another unity gain follower that keeps the output impedance of the module low. Now let's look at how we build this circuit on the breadboard module. Step 1. Remove the three screws and separate the front plate to gain easier access to the breadboard. 2. Place 10 microfarad capacitors near the top of the board noting the polarity. The negative rail is on the left side of the board and the positive on the right. Round is available on both sides. Then place the chip on the breadboard. The dot on the chip denotes pin 1 and should be on the left side. Next add the power and ground connections, positive to pin 8 and negative to pin 4. Now place jumpers from the output to the negative input on both sides of the chip. Then place the 100 microfarad capacitor from pin 3 to ground. The final part is a 100 ohm resistor from pin 3 to an open bus. Now we can bring the front plate back in. I recommend labeling the jacks on the front plate with masking tape. First we connect the black wire of the potentiometer to the 100 ohm resistor, then the middle wire to pin 7 on the chip. Then connect the red wire of the first jack to pin 5 and the black wire to ground. Finally connect the red wire from the second jack to pin 1 and the black wire to ground. Now reattach the front plate with the three screws. Connect unused jacks to an empty bus and fold the wires flat. Now attach the power cable. Red stripe on the cable to the red paint on the breadboard. Initial testing with a current limiting power supply is recommended. Once satisfied with initial testing, mount in your enclosure. Connect up the inputs and outputs. Today we are using a Q-Nexus for CV and gate generation and a YM3812V2 for sound generation. First let's hear some notes with the rate set as fast as possible. Now with the slew rate limited. Now even more. 